Hey beautiful people, it's Rakia and I'm back with another video. So on this video, I want to teach you guys about five credit cards that can boost your credit scores over 100 points. So these credit cards, you guys, as you guys get them, you're going to see your credit scores going up from them, especially if your credit scores is in the 400s and the 500s. This is going to be very, these are going to be perfect credit cards for you guys. And I purposely picked some credit cards that's not going to check your credit at all because some people just have a credit score that's just so low that you can't just get approved for a credit card. So I made sure that I picked credit cards that's not going to check your credit at all for those people that have a very low credit score. Like I said, low 500s, 400s, even 300s. It's like these are the perfect credit cards for you. I know your credit score is probably low, but don't think too hard about it. Let's just take the steps to increase it, okay? If this is your first time watching my videos, my name is Rakita. I talk about real estate. I talk about credit. So if you're looking to boost your credit score, I have a membership group where we meet up and I teach them how to boost their credit score 60 points in 60 days, and I hold their hand through that process. You can sign up for that, or you can just watch my free presentation. So five ways to increase your credit score, 60 points in 60 days. Definitely check that out. I'll give you free dispute letters there, um, inquiry removal letters if you guys need letters to remove your inquiries, and then a letter for collections. So if you need to remove collections or if you want to stop them from calling you or mailing you, then you can get that free letter there. But definitely check it out. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. And I have a meetup that's actually happening today. So definitely check out my meeting, my meetup that is happening today. Get your membership. Let's get in there. I have it. You can literally start for a dollar. Get the membership and the first class, I'm going to help you guys start deleting accounts because that's very important. You guys need to start deleting accounts. So the first class, we're going to delete, delete accounts. Second class, we're going to go over the credit cards and apply for the credit cards. So definitely check that out. Um, let's get right on into it. Just make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you guys subscribe. Thank you. So let's get right on into these different credit cards. So the first credit card I do want to talk to you guys about is the credit builder card. Now, the reason I want to talk to you guys about this card first is because they're going to be able to approve you for a credit card without actually giving you a hard inquiry because they're not going to check your credit at all. So I don't care if you have the lowest credit score possible, like it don't matter what your credit score is. They're going to be able to approve you so because they're not doing a credit check at all. And then they're going to report to all three credit bureaus. Now, this credit card is a secure credit card. So secure credit card means that you have to put money down. They are requiring that you put a $200 deposit down um, for the secure credit card. But when you guys put that deposit down, they're going to see you that credit card with in the mail, $200 limit. So whatever your deposit is, what's going to be your limit. So they're going to see your $200 um, credit card. And when you guys get that, just just make sure you guys do not spend more than 10% on that credit card. If you guys spend more than the 10%, it's going to be so hard for you guys to really boost your credit score. Now, not only do I not want you to spend more than 10%, do not let them report more than $10. So if they report more than $10 to the credit bureaus, it's not really going to be boosting your credit score the way I want it to, okay? So definitely make sure that you get this credit card and do not let them report more than $10. So you just keep the balance low on this credit card. Now, I like this credit card because they actually allow you to get two of these credit cards. You can have two of the credit builder cards. So definitely get the two. You cannot add your spouse on as an authorized user, but thing is they can get their own two credit cards and it'll be $400. You get two credit cards. They're going to report to all three credit bureaus. I tell people usually to make sure you guys get four credit cards. So this can actually check off two of the credit cards you're going to need. Okay. Now this is the one for the people that have very bad credit. There's no way you can get a credit card. And maybe you tried the next three companies I want to tell you, or Let's go and actually show you one more. That's a good one, too. That's not going to check your credit. So self, they have a Visa credit card also where they're going to be able to approve you no matter what your credit score is because they're not going to check your credit. But you have to get their account. They have an um, account that you have to have. And you can pay $25 per month, $48 per month, um, $35 or $150 per month. And as you pay on that account, they're going to report to all three credit bureaus. Think of this because it's an installment account. Think of like, like your car payment. Every month you're paying on it, you're paying on it, you're paying on it. And at the end, you're going to have your car that hopefully have value. But with this one, you're going to pay on it. And then after your 24 months, they're going to give you your money back. So they're going to give you your money back minus some fees. And they're going to be reporting to the credit bureaus that whole time. 
Now, as you're doing that, you guys can get this credit. It's the only way you can get this card without a credit check, too. You guys are going to be able to get their Visa card without a credit check in as little as three months. So you have to make sure that you make three monthly payments on time. You have to have at least $100 in your savings account with them. Um, and then your account have to be in good standing. Once you guys have that, you can apply for um, their card. I don't know why I said it's credit builder account. You guys can apply for their visa card. And when you guys apply for the visa card, they're going to send it to you in the mail. And this is the same thing to you guys. Do not spend more than 5% and do not let them, um, well, do not spend more than 10%. Do not let them report more than 5%. This is not one of them credit cards where you want to spend a lot of money on them because you want to run them up and you want to make sure that they're going to give you a higher limit and things like that. This is not that kind of card. They're not going to eventually give you a higher limit. Only way you're going to get a higher limit is by putting more money down on this one, okay? And every month that you're paying it to your installment account that they have with you guys, check out my other video about self if you want to see like exactly how self work. Um, the more that you pay into it, the higher your credit limit is going to go, okay? So you can eventually have a higher um, credit limit. So here's those payment accounts I was telling you about about here let me see here they are here so you can pay $25 per month $35 $48 or $150 per month now this is the one I used to like because it used to be 12 months but now it's not 12 months anymore you guys all of them is for 24 months so I tell people just pay the $25 per month eventually you're gonna have a secure credit card for $520 and you're gonna have two accounts an installment account and a credit card account reported to the credit bureaus and both is going to be boosting your credit score. Now, I boosted my credit score over 155 points since I've been with Self and I never got their secure credit card. Never got it. So just imagine this is the only account that I had with them, their installment account. Imagine when you get both of them. So definitely um, check this out. This is a great option for you guys. Now, I want you guys to look into the next three cards because with these next three cards, they're secure credit cards, but they graduate, which means, um, let me give you an example. So this is the Navy Federal Secure Credit Card. They're in reward secure card, okay? This one, you could put $200 down on it as a deposit. Same with same thing that you're doing for the credit builder card. The only difference is this one don't have an annual fee at all. I think the credit builder card probably have a $22 annual fee, which isn't bad because you need a credit card, okay? That's not bad. I'm just pointing out some other things. This is when they're going to really check your credit. They could probably say no to this, okay? But um, you put a $200 deposit down on this one, and in three to six months, it's going to graduate meaning your credit they're going to give you your $200 back and then they're going to um, increase your credit limit to $2000. That's usually what happened with the in reward secure credit card um with Navy Federal. So this is a great credit option for you. So graduating means that they're going to give you your money back and a lot of times they're going to increase your credit limit and they're going to change your account from a secure to an unsecured card. So usually they're going to increase your credit limit to $2,000. And then this is the credit card that they're going to give you. And then you guys are going to earn that up to 1.75% cash back on all your purchases. Okay. So that's something I really, really like. So definitely try to see if you can get this one. You do have to have some type of savings account or checking account to be able to get this one, but this one is a great option. So I like to tell people um, about it. OK, and they're going to be able to pre-qualify you, meaning that they'll tell you yes or no on whether they can give you the credit card when I give you a hard inquiry. But sometimes they can deny you guys. So if for some reason you're trying to get these credit cards because you like them, you want them to graduate and you can't get it. Start off with the credit builder card first. Let them start reporting. As you see your credit scores go up every month, try to pre-qualify for this credit card and the next two credit cards I'm going to tell you, okay? So don't think that, oh, I just can't never get it. No, start off with them. They're going to start reporting to the credit bureaus, this one and that self. They're going to start reporting to the credit bureaus. As they report to the credit bureaus and your credit scores go up, then you go back and double back and go ahead and try to get the secure credit card with Navy Federal. Now, the other secure credit card that I do like is the Discover It Secure Credit Card. You guys can pre-qualify for this one too. No credit check uh, required at all to apply. So this is a great one for those people that's looking to build their credit and boost their credit score. 
boost their credit scores. This one can also graduate. This one graduated in about six to eight months, more like that eight months though, you guys, because you have to make at least six of your payments. You have to make them on time. You have to have no new accounts on your credit report. That's negative. And I always tell people, try to keep your balance on all your credit cards so you can have the highest credit score possible. So if you get a $200 credit card, you guys should not be letting them report more than $10 to the credit bureaus, okay? So keep that in mind. Now, this one, um, they have some cashback features. So I really like to go over those with you guys. Um, so I don't know if they have them on here. But they give you guys 2% cashback at gas stations and restaurants and 1% cashback everywhere else. And the maximum for that 2% cashback, that's going to be um, up to a thousand dollars in purchases per quarter. So every three months, your thousand dollars going to renew. So this is a car where when you're just building your credit, you want to get that cash back. You'll put all of your gas and your restaurant purchases on this, and any other purchase too, if you're going to use your debit card, because you can easily pay it off. Like with my Discover credit card, I can pay my bill today and tomorrow that money's going to be available okay so if i was to charge something on it today they're going to take it out of my account tomorrow and that money is going to be available again so i always just go ahead and use like my discover card use some of my other credit cards especially if that money's going to be available um right away so i suggest you guys rack up those points because whatever you get in cash back like for me i got like over 300 some dollars in cash back i believe and then they doubled it so whatever you get back in cash back for that first year, they're going to double it. So here it is. It So the unlimited cash back match. So whatever you earn that first year, they're going to double it. So they gave me an extra 300 some dollars. So I really love that one. So definitely check that back. Check that out. Here's that 2% cash back I was talking to you guys about. So at gas station restaurants, up to $1,000 in combined purchases each quarter. Plus you get, you earn the unlimited 1% cash back automatically for all your other purchases. Okay. And you have the refundable security deposit, but I think I seen something where they were saying seven months. So yeah, after seven months, we begin automatic monthly account reviews to see if you qualify to upgrade to an unsecured card and get your deposit back. So just make sure that you keep your balance low. You don't have any new negative accounts. You should be good. So just use your account responsibly. And if for some reason you're like, dang, Rakita, I know you said don't spend more than $10 on it or don't let them don't let the report more than ten dollars do not freeze up like i used to do and be like i'm not gonna pay nothing just forget it. i can't pay off my full bill you know don't do that just pay your minimum balance set your minimum balance up on auto pay that's like the cheat code auto pay you guys set your stuff up on auto pay because my biggest problem before it was that i wasn't paying everything on time set up on auto pay set it and forget it but then double check just to make sure that it is set up but as long, as long as you got it set up, you know, it'll be good, but just double check your it's paid, okay? Because sometimes something could happen with your account. You just never know, but just double check. Now, last but not least, I want to talk to you guys about the Capital One credit card. These credit cards, you guys, can help you increase your credit scores over 100 points. Um, All the credit cards I just told you guys about, the key is, is just getting multiple cards. Make sure you have at least four of them reported to the credit bureaus and you're paying on time, okay? And you're keeping your balance low. If your balance is not low, you're not going to see that great increase that I'm talking to you guys about. Now, when it comes down to the capital um, one credit cards, they have multiple credit cards when you're in the building stage. So I always tell people, just click right here and see what you can get pre-approved for. If they can pre-approve you, then go ahead and get one of those, okay? See what they can pre-approve you for. They may be able to pre-approve you for their unsecured credit card, which is their plas Platinum MasterCard and the Quicksilver One Rewards. They may be able to pre-approve you for that, but then they may tell you, hey, you probably have to get one of our secure cards. But that's not that bad because their Platinum Secure Credit Card, this one is going to graduate. It is harder to graduate. A lot of people saying they are not um, graduating that account, but they do say that you um, they plan to graduate your account. So that is a great account that you guys can possibly get. So with their Platinum Secure, you're going to have a $200 limit, just like the credit builder card. But depending on your credit, they may tell you to put $49 down, $99 down, or they may request you put the full $200 down, 
okay? And with responsible use, you can earn your deposit back and upgrade your card. So using this one is going to get upgraded to a $300 or a $500 credit card. Now, once you get upgraded to every every month, I, I would tell you to ask for an increase, ask for an increase, because you just never know. They may give it to you, okay? So definitely ask for that increase. Now, this is their platinum card. Their Quicksilver card is different. So this one has a minimum of a $200 deposit, but I think you can put all the way up to $2,500 down on this one. So this is one where you can put more down. You can do that for Discover too. You put up $2,500. And also for Navy Federal, I believe that one is um, up to $2,500, okay? You, or $3,000 you could put down on that one. But this one, I'm not not sure if it actually graduate. You definitely want to double check and call them. I don't want to just say it is going to graduate and it don't. Um, but definitely call them and see. Now, usually your Platinum Secure is going to upgrade to the Platinum MasterCard, okay? So it's going to um, graduate to this one. You don't have an annual fee for it. The one that I used to like the most was a Quicksilver Rewards because you guys did get 1.5% cash back on all your purchases, but they did have a $39 annual fee. Now, if you guys get their Quicksilver Secure, you guys can get that 1.5% cash back too, but you have to put a deposit down on it. So definitely check these out. See which ones they can pre-approve you for because I know for sure if you follow these steps, and get some of these credit cards you're going to really see your credit score go up but hopefully this video was helpful for you guys hopefully you guys increase your credit score the amount that you want to increase your credit score if you guys have any questions definitely let me know and make sure you guys check out the five ways to increase your credit score 60 points in 60 days i actually have a class that's starting today i am doing it six times per year i plan to never stop <laughs> this is something i want to continuously do you guys um so this is actually going to be my third class ever that I'm actually like doing. We're doing four meetups. I'm going to send you a video saying step-by-step step what you have to do. So definitely um, let me know if you guys have any questions. I'm here for you guys. And don't forget, if you're not a member, become a member. I have the dollar trial for my membership and then you can come into the class for free. And if you guys, for some reason, just can't afford it, you're like, Rakita, I need to get my life together still. I still give you free dispute letters in there. So a free letter to remove inquiries and negative accounts and a free letter for your collection company. So please just go ahead and check it out because it's free resources there for you. I just didn't want nobody to have an excuse. Like, it's no excuse why your credit score should ever be less than 620. Like, your credit score should always be high enough for you to get a house. OK, that's like the thing. And if I can do that and help people with that, I'm I'm definitely here for it. So I hopefully I see you in my class tonight and I'll talk to you guys later on. Make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you guys subscribe.